So coming to Anagunda Navigator, Anagunda Navigator is a department uh, which will have we will be having two things inside the Anaconda Navigator, which is the Jupyter and one is the Spark. So let me launch Anaconda Navigator. After installing Anaconda Navigator, uh, please try to launch it, uh, Anaconda Navigator. Just to search for Anaconda Navigator, if you are using a Windows machine, go for the search option in the bottom side. If you are using a Mac machine, you search for the top. Okay, just I'm searching for Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator is a green color circle icon, which is was uh, which was going to be launching now, and uh, it will take time to launch, and which is going to be having a bunch of IDEs inside. In that ID is uh, we will be having the uh, one is a Jupyter and one is a Spark. So let's go. This is about Jupyter and section Spark. This is basically Jupyter. This is basically Jupiter, and uh, we will be having the one more thing called a spider. So this one is a spider, and this one is the Jupiter. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you see and observe? This is a web-based uh, interactive computing and notebook. It means what? Uh, this is completely web-related, so browser-related ID. So let me launch the Jupiter now. So I'm trying to launch the Jupiter over there. Collection of editors. Environment and account environment is collection of editors. I am trying to launch the Jupyter. So once I launch uh, Jupyter notebook, it will it will run through one browser. It will run through one default browser. Whatever the default browser you have, through the default browser it will run. So from the default browser, my Jupyter notebook will mm -hmm. run. Okay, so now you can see uh, there are multiple kind of options uh, which are available and it is running through browser. You can see the URL also, localhost uh, colon 888 slash 3. Book level, book level, it is actually preparing all the files. And... Now, don't touch anything. So don't touch running option, don't touch the cluster option at all. So just go to the files. And I want to create a new file now. But now you have to select the path where you want to create the file. For example, I want to create the file on top of the desktop. Okay, so I selected my path as desktop. Uh, on top of the desktop, I want to create a new file. So let me let me create a new file here. And that file should be a Python 3 file. So where you can able to write your code. For example, I want to create a sample Python program. Just give the uh, comment here. Uh, sample Python program. Okay. So sample Python program and this code is going to be a heading, for example. So I just want to keep the heading like uh, level two heading or level three heading, whatever the headings you want, you can just give it. Okay. This is level two heading. So just keep on. Okay. Or if you want, you can just make down different kind of headings. So, this is level two. And if I have a new thing, using the hash characters, you can give the more and more. So when when so I give in the single hash, so that will be the level two. I give in three, uh, level three, something like this. This is some kind of heading, basically. And after that, uh, I want to give some program. So I want to give the program, just give the name is equal to kind of three uh, divas here okay so for example i want to execute the name first of all i want to execute the cell if you want to execute the cell and we can just go with the shift enter see i'm just giving the comment here shift plus enter shift plus enter to run the code to run the cell the shortcut or you can go with the run option just uh, you click on the run option. now name got stored with and i just uh, search for the name or you can just search for the uh, print option. Name is uh, name is comma name. I can I can search for the name. Name is three divas now. Name is three divas. So three divas is available. Name is three divas is also available. So cell by cell execution. Cell by cell execution. For example, if I want to go with the simple addition program, x is equal to something, y is equal to something, z is z is equal to x plus y and print uh, z okay so you can execute at the same time execute at the same time 
I can able to execute the cell with the multiple lines of the code. So, have multiple lines of the code and I can able to execute the complete cell at the single time. Okay. Jupyter. So Jupyter notebook, you can you can work on a lot of lot of uh, lines of the code. You can able to execute a lot of lot of lines of the code. And this this file is going to be IPyRig file. So I will show the file where the file was saved. Where the file was saved, I will show you. So this one, uh, IPyNib, I created some IPyNib. So this is the file I created. IPyNib, the extension of the file is uh, .ipynib. So that is the Jupyter file. And let's go with the one more option called a spider, launch a spider also. From Anaconda Navigator, I'm trying to launch the spider also. Trying to launch the spider. So from spider also you can do the Python code practice. From spider also you can do Python code practice. Just launching spider. Okay. So right to the path the spider was uh, version five. The spider version is version five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got launched as spider. So welcome to spider. So let me uh, let's write uh, some Python file. Important check uh, parameters. Now I want to create a new file over there. I'm creating a new file here. Mm -hmm. Just uh, go with a uh, bigger one. Name is equal to Srinivas. I'm trying to write some Python code and print name. And click on the play button. So once you click on the play button, it will give the output for you. Execute the current console. Yeah. Can you see the output here? Can you see the output here? So Srinivas, I got it. Can you see the console output? Srinivas. And age is equal to something like... Uh, if I'm just checking the condition, if name is equal to Srinivas, then go, okay, print to okay. Just, it is giving there a just indentation. Just go with the indentation. Print to okay should be in the single case. You may give the symbol says, one space or at least one space you have to give or you can give the two spaces or you can give the three spaces or you can give the four spaces that is not an issue indentation is mandatory for python block indentation is mandatory for the python block uh, that should be so mostly people will give four spaces or one tab one tab is better better understanding and click on the play button so i got a okay here why i got a okay here Right, because uh, name and Srinivas both got matched. Name and Srinivas both got matched. So this is some kind of conditions. So later we will discuss. Uh, we will discuss about conditions also. Okay, so how the things are going to be happening. Right, the print uh, not okay. Let me go with the not okay also. So why I'm giving the not okay here? I'm just searching for the capital S. Searching with the capital S. Basically, name was Srinivas, but small, S is my small letter. But I'm searching, or I'm I'm actually checking with the capital letter S. When I when I check the equality with the capital letter S, so that was not actually going with the true block. It will actually go with the false block. Now, finally, output will be finally output will be in the false block. Not okay. Finally, output will be the false block. So this is the way of working with the spider and uh, Jupiter. Okay, so later we will discuss a uh, lot of lot of programs he is, uh, using with Anaconda Navigator only. Would want to go with the spider. Or you want to go with uh, something like the Google Collab. What is this meaning of Google Collab is? Uh, see, a lot of, lot of people are using Google Collab also. Uh, but Google Collab files are actually, you should be having some internet connection every time whenever you are writing the program uh, this is something like a cloud editor where you can uh, if you have the email id and all uh, you can go with the program you can just go with the google 
you will collab you can go for the google collab and log in with your email id you come to collaborate so you can search for your email to the email id you can go to the collab same like jupiter same like jupiter this is not like I so I have something like it stopped. Wait, I think. Maybe some network notebook not known, so you can create a new notebook, sir. Shows you that. Okay, I'm trying to creating the new notebook. Put loading error, so if there was some problem with that, okay, we will see later. So, have to work with the collaborator in law. But better you try to install in your system that Anaconda uh, navigator. So, maybe my drive was filled, I think so. it's not available. Yeah, that is go Gmail change. My drive was actually filled, Google Drive was uh, completely filled. That was. Uh, Problem you cannot create any networking. So now, yeah. So now I change, uh, I switch to one more email ID. So now I can able to type the code. Now I can able to type the code. So let me go with the print option. Print of hello. Uh, let me click on the play button. So it is actually now connecting with the mission, connecting with the cloud mission. It is going to be exhibited and RAM is exhibited. And now you can write something like name is equal to Srinivas. And we can able to save the collaboratory also. That also fine. Shift enter. You can go for the shift, shift enter or you can do that. No problem. Same like to your move. Same like you are Jupiter. Collab also depending so, so we're done with the editors coming concepts onwards all python programming syntaxes we have like variables conditions groups data types type conversions functions object oriented by computer see module by module we are trying to work on graph analysis thank you thanks a lot and please try to install each and every editor that you know, practice with the uh, Python code execution. Sample code, there was a sample code like uh, addition program, main print, uh, range print, qualification print, print. Right?